answering your revenge questions. Um, nothing is gonna be off limits here, so let's see what we talk about. Ooh, I love this question. Renee Mao asks, was it hard working on a show with such a dramatic slash evil storyline? Yes. Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the greats of our time, says about acting that it's very important to wipe your feet on the way in and wipe your feet on the way out. And what he's saying when he says that is to not take work home with you. It can be really difficult when you're shooting a TV show because you're working sometimes five days a week, doing press and media stuff on the weekends. You know, um, people are talking about it. Anytime you're not at work, you're interacting with fans and all of that. You never really leave work. And because this particular show had such a dark storyline with people being really cruel to one another, I did find it really difficult. Um, though I wasn't personally going through everything that Charlotte went through, there is something about the physiology of creating those emotions within yourself to portray them on screen that I think does take a toll on you on like a cellular level. Um, so although the emotions are not yours, they are still real emotions. Um, that you are conjuring up within yourself. And um, <laughs> there, were, there were definitely days that I would find myself behind the wheel of my car, like driving home, just like sobbing. And I couldn't quite identify why that was because my life personally was going really well. Um, but yeah, I think, it, I think it was really hard and uh, I love therapy. <laughs> All right, this is not a question, but Alessia Marcon says, in love with revenge. Thanks girl, I was too. Um, I truly missed the show, it was wonderful. Were scenes shot at Fisherman's Village? You know, in the pilot episode, I believe we actually were on a dock. Um, and then everything else after the pilot was on a soundstage in Manhattan Beach, California. Same question twice in a row. Favorite episode to shoot, favorite episode to film. My favorite revenge episode was the pilot. Truly, there's such a magical feeling on a pilot because you know, the idea is new and rich and potent and everyone is just so excited to be embarking on this new adventure together. And you know, it's like anything that you do for the first time. It's like your first kiss or your first time in a new city or you know, anything that you do for the first time is, the first time is the most exciting. And uh, yes, yeah, so the pilot really had that magic. Not to mention we were filming the pilot for like three weeks or something. The entire cast was on location in North Carolina. We would spend all day at work together and then go out at night and have dinner. I remember we had this one, um, we were in like a small town in North Carolina and the one kind of restaurant near us was in Applebee's and so we all went to Applebee's for dinner and like had quite a laugh at that and yeah, the pilot was amazing. Plus it was directed by Philip Noyce who you know has such a great creative vision and the stakes were high, man. It was, it was a lot of fun. What was supposed to happen to Mason Treadwell if season five was approved? I have no idea. Hey, I'm Roger Bart. I'm on a golf course right now, so I gotta keep it down. But I played Mason Treadwell on Revenge. First of all, guys, thank you to all the cool fans out there. Many have asked over the years, whatever happened to Mason Treadwell? I don't know. I don't know. Here's my guess. I think he kept on blogging. I think he became an influencer. And I think after a few years of sober living, moved out of his trailer and became chief theater critic for the New York Post. That's my guess. I'm curious what you think, so so please let me know. And um, again, I'm just so grateful you guys enjoy the show and like watching it, because it was a blast to make. All right, I gotta go. Bye. 
<laughs> Lena says, I hate Victoria. She was kind of a villain character. Betty Burns says, describe Madeline in three words. Madeline Stowe in three words. Goddess, poised, passionate. Ella Grace asked if I went to Daniel and Emily's wedding in real life, and the answer is no. Why doesn't Daniel have an Instagram? That's a really good question. Josh Bowman really should have an Instagram. He should have a social media presence in some way, shape, or form. In my opinion, he's so lovable and wonderful in real life. I, I wish that you guys would get to see and experience more of that because he really is just fantastically kind and charming and funny. Um, I'm gonna keep encouraging him to get social media because I also think it would just behoove him in general. But um, yeah, I don't know, he doesn't. I'm gonna try to convince him. Maybe you guys can help me try to convince him. How is your relationship with the rest of the team? Love all of you, from Julia Garcia. Um, I would say relationships amongst the cast are like any working environment. I'd like for you to imagine your own workplace and the different relationships that you have with people at work. Some of you are like amazing and best friends and some of you don't really speak and that's, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's how it is with TV shows too. It's just a place of work and everyone's relationship is different. Another question about how did things end with Mason Treadwell? Ooh, I don't know, I'm sorry. Amazing, I finished yesterday the three seasons, no question. I love you. I love you too, Paola Tornielli. Tina Barsegian says, no questions, but hands down my favorite show. Just finished watching it for the fifth time. Girl, thank you. Why is it not complete on Netflix? I'm not sure, but I believe those things rotate. So keep checking back. Vicky asks, funniest moment that you remember? Um, Josh Bowman was such a prankster on set. There was one time, I, I think it was towards the end of the fourth season, and I believe his character was like golfing. Oh, this is something that, yeah, cause he was like always playing pranks on people. And so <laughs> his character was like, hitting a golf ball and someone replaced his golf ball with an exploding golf ball. <laughs> so when he hit it, it like, you know, exploded like this dust everywhere and it was really funny. Vicky also asks, how did you get cast for the show? This is the craziest story to me because um, I was shooting another movie. I was 19 at the time. It was pilot season, I was shooting a movie and I had one day off from this film in which I, went to three pilot auditions, Revenge being one of them. I loved the script, um, but I was exhausted. Like I remember taking a nap in my car before the audition because I was just like spent from this other set that I was on. Um, and I went in and I, I remember having a really good audition, but typically with pilot casting, you would go back for like, minimum of like three or four auditions. And this one, I went and I read on tape and they sent my tape to the producers and then I guess they sent that tape on to network and studio because I did not go back, I did not test. I booked it from that one audition and I'm really grateful for it happened that way. Okay, I got really hungry while filming this, so I'm just gonna have a little snack. I hope you don't mind. Mm. A lot of you just, <laughs> I mean, seriously, if the ABC people who decide the, what shows produ get produced could see what I'm seeing. I'm rewatching for the hundredth time, best show ever. I miss them so much. A lot of questions about what was supposed to happen to Mason Treadwell. You guys are really interested in Mason Treadwell. Were you satisfied with the ending of the show and Charlotte's ending? Honestly, I wasn't crazy about it, obviously. I wish, all actors wish that they, excuse you, that their characters could be better fleshed out, but I definitely felt like Charlotte was at times like tossed to the side. 
Um, and I wish that her story had been just told a little bit more fully, but um, I don't lose any sleep at night over it. <laughs> did you enjoy doing the show? I did very much. It changed my life in every conceivable way, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was the best education ever in what to do and what not to do. How was the atmosphere on set? Well, <laughs> um, you know, always different. Season one, it was like incredible all the time. Everyone was family and, you know, <clears throat> everything was great. And uh, by season four, things had changed. There will ever be a new season. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Miranda Brooks asks, who did you get along with most out of the whole cast? Um, towards the beginning it was like, like everyone was best friends, seriously. Everyone. Um, but long term, I would say without a doubt, Ashley and I have hung out the most outside of work and have had the most kind of full friendship. Um, I've also spent a bunch of time with Madeline. She did a, she wrote this incredible film and created a sizzle reel for it, which is basically like something that you show people to go get funding, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I starred in that uh, for her. So we were out shooting for like three days in the middle of the desert. Um, she's also just like, incredible. She's so intelligent and uh, we have some other friends in common and she's great. I love that cast. I really do. We still all see each other for the most part. Most of us see each other like a couple times a year, which is great. Do you think that Revenge deserves a fifth season? Yes. Mm, maybe not a fifth season. I think it's too late to go back and do a fifth season, but I think it deserves a reboot of some sort. Whether that's a spin-off series or a movie. I'm telling you, the demand for it is huge. Has it finally ended? Yes. How did you get the role? Answered that. What is Madeline Stowe like? Answered that as well. She's very sweet, smart, driven, passionate. How did you feel about them bringing back the dad? Ruined the story for me, same! I thought that was such a cop-out. Such a cop-out. Like it was like the one thing you should never do with that storyline and then they did it and I was like, what the fuck? At the time it kind of made sense though because it was like, you know, every episode of Revenge there was some like massive bomb that was dropped um, as far as like a twist. And it was, look, it was a massive twist, um, which was very useful as a story device. But I do think it was the obvious one. <laughs> I think it was a bit of a cop out. That being said, I loved having James Tupper around and that was a lot of fun. So I don't know, in the end, does it matter? Does any of it matter? Um, um, yes, but that's my thought on that. <laughs> wow, you guys really went there. Are the bad people in Revenge in real life also bad? Not like bad, but yeah, you know. There is good and bad in every person. I truly believe that. Not one of us is fully good or fully bad. So, you know, it is hard to answer that question. I will say from an insider's perspective, it does seem that actors on television, this is the caveat, it's different than film in my opinion. It does seem to me that actors on television often have some of the same traits as their television character. 
film, it's much easier to, you know, remove yourself from real life, go fully dive into a character for a temporary period of time. But with television, especially long running television, I think it becomes harder and harder to distinguish the actor from the character. I also think that writers often mine little details from the actor's life to put into the character. So do with that what you will. I really miss revenge. Do you have any plan of cast reunion and some news of filming? Guys, we all were in the same room the other night together for the premiere of Josh Bowman's film that he directed. He directed a short film, it was amazing. And pretty much all of us were there and we didn't take a photo because like, I don't know, we just didn't. And I wanted to, but we just didn't do it, guys. And I'm, I'm sorry, I try to make these things happen. I'll try harder next time, but like, I don't know. I will try harder next time. Okay, Luna, off, seriously. You gotta get out of here. What was the hardest part about working on Revenge? Uh, meh. It was a little emotionally taxing at times, but that's what I signed up for. <laughs> Diana Lau asks, who do you miss the most of the cast? I miss Gabe. His spirit is so pure and kind and he's so talented. There's just like not enough nice things in the world to say about Gabe. He's he's wonderful and I miss him. So if you're watching this, Gabe, I love you. Is Charlotte really planning on getting revenge against Emily at the end of the finale? Probably. Kelly Kay asks, would you want a spinoff of the show? Yes. Yes, I would. But I mean, also, I don't think, I don't think it's good to get lost in nostalgia. I don't want a, a spinoff of the show just because it, you know, like I miss revenge. I think when you do something and it's really, really brilliant, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying that I was brilliant, I just think the show overall was quite brilliant. Anytime you try to recreate that ma magic, I think it falls short of it, of your expectation. So I would like to be involved in something equally as incredible but maybe not necessarily a spin-off. Or maybe, I don't know. Could work, but um, yeah. I want something new and incredible and inspiring. Who was the hardest person to work with on the show? <laughs> Guys, you really think I would answer that question? Where is your leopard skirt from? So cute. Also, how did you get into Ariel? These are not revenge related questions, but because I love you, I'm gonna answer them anyway. The leopard skirt is from Realization Park. Um, it is the skirt that every girl ever that is into fashion owns. Um, that being said, that didn't stop me. I really love it and I wear it all the time. How did I get into Ariel? I got into Ariel, I tried it for the first time when I was in the circus for summer as a kid. And then I really took it up, actually when I started Revenge, because when I started Revenge, I was a rock climber and my hands were quite destroyed. Also it was technically like, <clears throat> uh, I agreed not to do things that would immediately endanger my life when I signed that, signed that contract. Um, so for several reasons, I gave up rock climbing and took on Ariel and I'm really glad that I did. Anybody on the cast or guest starring you didn't like? Um, not really, but if that was the case, I still wouldn't talk about it because that's just, that's just not cool, y'all. Guys, I think I answered all the major questions. So that's pretty much it for questions. I hope you have enjoyed this revenge Q&A. And if you have more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments of this YouTube video. And if I get enough, perhaps I'll make a part two. Thanks for watching.